Hi, Terry Van Noy. Welcome to Math Class with Terry V. Hope this video helps you out, and if you enjoy it, please share it, comment, or like it. And you can also go to my website, mathpowerline.com. It's a math resource blog, uh, lesson videos for students, and other resources for parents and teachers. Give me a call, or go to my website or email. All right, let's go to today's lesson. All right, to find the length of an arc, as I have highlighted here, we're gonna take the entire circumference of the circle and we're gonna multiply it by which part we're talking about. Now, we're gonna be looking at these angles here. The central angle is expressed in radians, okay? Now, what I want you to remember is, um, hopefully you already know this, if I go halfway around the circle, that's pi. All right, halfway around the circle from here to here. And if I go all the way around the circle, that's going to be 2 pi. All right? Now, I'm going to go 1 sixth of a pi towards halfway. Okay? And this is a 1 sixth pi radian measure. All right? Well, what we need to do is we need to find the entire circumference of the circle, which is always 2 times pi times the radius. Okay? And then we're going to multiply that by the central angle, which in this case is expressed in radians, a pi expression, and we're going to divide it by 2 pi, which is the entire length all the way around the circle. All right, now it gets a little tricky with fractional uh, central angle radians here, but I'll show you an example here. So that would be 2 times pi times 3 times the central angle is 1 sixth pi and we're going to divide that by 2 pi. Now it gets a little crazy looking but let's simplify that. Okay, So it's going to be 2 times pi times 3 times 1 pi over 6 times 1 over 2 pi. Okay, so what am I doing? Well, I'm splitting up this 1 sixth pi, putting the 1 pi on top and the 6 on the bottom, and dividing by 2 pi makes it look like this, all right? So if I make the whole thing a fraction, now we basically have the 6 and the 2 pi in the denominator, okay? And the reason why I want to do that is I'm suggesting that we can now just cancel factors. So look at this. We've got the 2 cancel with the 2. We have this pi cancel with that pi factor. And then what do we have left? We have 3 times 1 times pi times 1 all over 6. Cancel the 3's. And so it turns out that it's about 1.57. 1 pi over 2, 1 half pi is the same as 1.57. All right, now I want you to take a look at a couple of examples we'll work together. All right, number five, we have a radius of 20, and the central angle here for the um, dark arc that I'm looking for is 5 pi over 4, 5 fourths pi, in other words. So do the circumference. 2 times pi times the radius of 20. Multiply by 5 pi over 4. Divide the whole thing by 2 pi. All right, let's think of it another way. That's 2 times pi times 20 times 5 times pi. The 4 can be bumped down into the denominator with the 2 and the pi. All right, so again, if my central angle is a fractional version of pi, the denominator can bump down to the um, to this denominator with the 2 pi, which is the complete rotation around the circle. 
And let's go ahead and cancel out some factors. Cancel out the twos, the pies, um, cancel out a factor of four there. which gives me uh, 25 pi. And when I multiply 25 by 3.14, round to the nearest tenth, I get 78.5 feet. All right, number six. All right, the entire circumference is two times pi times the radius of four kilometers. Multiply by the central angle, 7 pi over 6. Now I'm going to go ahead and just move that 6 into the denominator. And then, of course, we divide by 2 pi, which means the 2 pi goes in the denominator. All right, so there's my 7 6 pi right there. And there's dividing by the entire circumference uh, all the way around. 360 degrees, which is really 2 pi. Okay? All right, so notice that we're going to be canceling out the 2 factors and the pi factors. Let's go ahead and cancel another 2 factor there, which leaves me a 3 and a 2. So it looks like we have 2 times 7 times pi, which is 14 pi over 3. And I divide that out. And I get one four, or sorry, 14.7 kilometers for the arc length of that circle. All right. The next video in the series is a problem set. I'm going to have you try two more, and let's practice and make sure you understand how to do it. Thanks for watching. All right, there you have it. I invite you to go to my website now, mathpowerline.com, or email me or give me a call. The way I work best with students is live online in my classroom. So if I can help you in any way, answer some specific questions, the first lesson with me is free as I show you how everything works. All right, study hard and take care.